Rearranging an appointment. 1. I had an appointment tomorrow and I need to change it to a different date. Certainly, what day would be best for you? I think that Monday or Tuesday would be good for me. I can give you Monday. I have 10 or 11 in the morning. I think 10 o'clock is best. Fine, I will put you down for that. That would be great. Happy I could help you. See you then. Rearranging an appointment, too. I was wondering if I could reschedule my appointment to a later date. Okay, just tell me what day would be best for your appointment. Wednesday or Thursday would be perfect. Thursday is available. Would 10 or 11 be best? I would love to have an 11 o'clock appointment. Great. I'll just add you in if that works. Perfect. I appreciate that. So happy that we had an opening for you. Rearranging an appointment. 3. I can't make my appointment and I need to make another one. That's okay. We can reschedule it for you to tell me what day works for you. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday would be good for me. I can give you Friday. Would you prefer 10 or 11? 10 o'clock is perfect. Well, in that case, I'll just write you in. Thanks. That will work out well. It was my pleasure to have been able to make it work. Responding to a plea for help. 1. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, thank you. I'm really far behind on this project. Could you help me with the extra typing or Xeroxing? I can do either one. Good, that would be very helpful. Can you start with those pages over there? No problem. Thank you very much. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for five years. Well, we have some special projects coming up. Would you be interested in working on any of those? Yes, I would love to work on a special project. Well then, I'll keep you in the loop. Thank you for your help today. Responding to a plea for help, too. Do you need any help? I need some help catching up. Are you good at typing or could you help me Xerox? I like Xeroxing. Thank you. There are papers on the table to start with. Okay, I'll get right to that. I really appreciate the help. How many years have you been with the company? I just started working here. I have a special assignment coming up. Would you be interested in helping me on it? I'd like to, but I'm very busy. I'll make sure that management keeps you in mind for special projects in the future. Thanks for the help. Responding to a plea for help. 3. What can I do to help you? I have some extra help with my project. What would you prefer to help me with, typing or Xeroxing? I could do some typing for you. That is very kind of you to offer to do that. Can you start with the pages on the table? Sure, I'll get to that right now. I like your positive attitude. How many years have you been employed here? I have worked here a long time. We have a really interesting project coming up. Would you want to join us on it? I'm not sure. Let me think about it. Okay. I will mention how great you were about helping me today. I appreciate your help. Accepting excuses for not meeting commitments. 1. So tell me again, why couldn't you get the supplies I ordered? Well, I ordered them when you asked, but the supplier said they might need to backorder them. Okay. When do you think they will finally arrive? I think maybe Tuesday. If they don't arrive by then, what are our options? I could try another supplier down the street. That would work for me. Okay, I will stay on it and let you know how it's going. Thank you for taking care of the problem. Thank you for your business. We appreciate you as a client. Accepting excuses for not meeting commitments, too. You promised me the supplies would be in today, and now you say they aren't here? They said they had part of the order, but the rest won't be available until later. I guess that's it then. When will you be able to get the rest? I am not sure. 
I'm not convinced that will work for me. What now? I could order them from another supplier as a backup. That is a good plan. Good. I will call you later this afternoon and let you know where your supplies will arrive. I appreciate you staying on it. We appreciate your business and aim to please. Accepting excuses for not meeting commitments. Three. I really need the supplies today, and you're telling me you don't have them. The supplier said that it will be a few more days until they can ship the order. Fine. What day will the whole order be here? If we are lucky, they might get here tomorrow. Is there anywhere else we can get these supplies? Let's order the missing items from someone else just to be sure. I appreciate that suggestion. I will track your order on the internet and email you the moment it arrives. I look forward to hearing from you. Please let me know if there is anything else I can do for you in the meantime. Making a phone call. One. I need help figuring out how to use this phone. Sure. First, you pick up the receiver and hit one of the first three buttons. Do you hear a tone? Yes, I hear a tone. Okay. Now you dial nine on the keypad. Do you hear the tone change? Yes, it changed. Well, when you hear it change, that means you have an outside line. Where are you trying to call? I am trying to call home. Okay. Well, to dial the outside, you just now dial the number. For a call inside the company, you just hit the extension number. Do you know the extensions? Yes, I have a list of extensions. Well, if you ever need help with an extension, you can dial zero. Making a phone call two. Can you show me how to use this phone? Yes, I can help you with that. Pick up the receiver and hit one of the buttons. Do you hear a tone? No, I don't hear anything. Next, you dial nine on the keypad. You should hear the tone change. Did you hear it change? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, after you get the line to change, you have an outside line. Who are you trying to call? I am trying to call a client. To call a number on the outside, you now just dial the number. For inside calls, punch an extension number. Has someone given you an extension list? No, I don't know anyone's extension. All of the extensions are listed on the wall chart over there. If you ever need help. Making a phone call. Three. I want to make a phone call. Can you show me how? Of course. Pick up the receiver, hit a button, and listen for a tone. Are you hearing it? Yes. Now what do I do? Well, after you dial nine on the keypad, you should hear the tone change. No, nothing changed. When you dial nine and hear the tone change, it means you have an outside line. Who are you trying to call? I'm trying to call my boss. Oh, for an outside call, you now just dial the number. For a company number, you need to know the extension. Do you have a list of extensions? I know a few extensions, but I don't know them all. You can always look an extension up on the company website. Giving an excuse for being late to work. One. Excuse me for being late to work. Where have you been? My car broke down. That's too bad. Please try and fix it so that it doesn't happen again. Yes, I'll work on that. Thank you. Have a seat. We are working on the new project. Great. Fill me in. Let's take a look at the Campbell project. I don't understand the projected revenues. Let's take another look at it for those of you who don't understand. Giving an excuse for being late to work too. I am so sorry. I'm so late to work. What was the problem? I lost track of time. Things happen. Make sure it doesn't become a habit. Okay, it won't happen again. All right. Please take this message and call this client. Okay, no problem. Now does. Everyone understand the diagram on the board. Yes, I understand the numbers. I will explain it again, especially for those of you 
who arrived late. Giving an excuse for being late to work. 3. I lost track of time. Am I late? Yes. What kept you from arriving on time? My friend needed me to help him. I realize that everyone has emergencies. Just get here on time from now on. I'll try. My apologies. I appreciate you saying that and would like you to join us in our meeting. Sure, I'll sit right here. Wonderful. Does anyone have any questions about this project? I am confused about the projected revenues. I'm glad that some of you get it, but let's go over it once more. Making an appointment for a meeting. 1. I would like to make an appointment for a project meeting. Of course, I have Monday or Tuesday available. What day would be best for you? I would like to meet on Monday. Very well then. Are mornings or afternoons best? I want to come in the morning. I will have my assistant check my calendar and get back to you with the exact time. Can you bring me an outline of the project when you come? Yes, I can bring the outline when I come to the meeting. Do you think that we should include the entire committee in the meeting or just our subcommittee? I think that we should have the subcommittee. Okay, then. I will make the arrangements for them to attend. Do you know how to get there? No, I need directions, please. Fine. We will make sure that we send you all of the information that you need. See you there. Making an appointment for a meeting, too. Could I meet with you to discuss the project? Good idea. We could meet on Monday or Tuesday. Which day would you prefer? Tuesday would be good for me. Okay. Do you think we should meet in the morning or in the afternoon? I think the afternoon would be best. That will work out. I will email the exact time tomorrow. I need you to bring your plans with you. Yeah, I'll bring my plans with me to the meeting. Should we invite the whole committee or should we have just the subcommittee there? I feel that the whole committee needs to be there. Yes, I agree. We'll make sure that they get notified. Can you find the meeting place? Yes, I know how to get there on my own. Great, we will send you all the details later. Looking forward to meeting with you. Making an appointment for a meeting. 3. When could we meet to discuss the project? I will be available on Monday or Tuesday. Choose which day is best for you. I prefer Monday. Good. Can you come in the morning or would afternoon be best? Either one is okay. Great. When I check with the others, I will send you an exact time. When you come, be prepared to do your presentation. I will be prepared to do my presentation. Who would you like to see there? Just the subcommittee or should we ask the whole committee? Everyone needs to be there. That would probably be best. Do you need help with directions? I think I know where it is. Maybe you could send me directions just to make sure. Okay, we will email you all the information you need tomorrow. Have a good day. Making promises. 1. I need help preparing for my presentation on Friday. I could help you with that. Are you sure you have time? I promise you that I have the time to do this. If I didn't, I wouldn't offer to help. What would be the best time for you to help me? Tomorrow night would work for me. Should we just meet here? Okay, and I'll bring some information that helped me with my presentation. I'll see you then. See you tomorrow night. Making promises, too. Could you help me prepare for my presentation on Friday? I would love to help you prepare for your presentation. I hate to ask you to do something like that. This will not interfere with my work. I promise you that. When could we dig get together? I could easily give you some time tomorrow night. Would you like to meet me at the coffee house next door? Yes. And could you write down anything you might be having trouble with? I'll come prepared. Goodbye until then. I promise that you'll do well after we meet. Making Promises 3 I'm a little nervous about my presentation on Friday. If you would like me to, I could help you with that. 
Wouldn't that take away from your project? I have plenty of time to do this. I promise you it won't be a problem for me. Is there a good time for you to help me? If we work on this tomorrow night, you could easily be ready by Friday. How about meeting in my office? That would work out well. Bring any concerns that you might have. Sounds like you'll be able to help me a lot. Don't worry, everything will go well. I promise. Agreement and disagreement. One. I was thinking of holding the company retreat in the mountains. I agree. I think that would be perfect. I was thinking it could take place sometime in January. That might be a little too cold for some people. Yes, you're right. What about April? April has good weather that isn't too cold or too hot. Yes, that would work out better. You know, maybe we could take a survey to see how that works for everyone. Good idea. We'll have to get right on it. Fine. Well, I'll get right on it. Now! Agreement and disagreement, too. I think that the company retreat should be in the mountains this year. What a great idea! January would be a good month for a mountain retreat. I like the mountain idea, but I am not so sure about the month of January. You know, now that I think about it, you might be right. April might be nice. It is far enough away to make the necessary arrangements. That is a good suggestion. We could ask everyone what would be the best time for them. Yeah, that would let us know what would work best. I'll put the survey online this afternoon. Agreement and disagreement, three. The mountains would be a great place for the company retreat. That's a wonderful choice. I have chosen January as the month for this retreat. January is a little too close to the Christmas holidays. Yes, maybe another choice might be better. I think that April would work. Spring is a lovely time to be in the mountains. Thank you for thinking of that. Maybe if we asked around, we could see what people would prefer. That is a good idea. I'll take care of taking the survey and get back to you with the answers. Asking for a description of a person, one. She was pretty tall, about five feet ten inches, and kind of scary looking. What do you mean, scary? Well, she had a crazy sounding laugh and wild hair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. And her piercing eyes. She looked like an alien who just came down from outer space. Do you believe that people from outer space live amongst us? No, that's impossible. Unless they beam us up for a ride, we will never know for sure. Have you ever thought that you saw a flying saucer? Are you crazy? Ha! I guess we never know what can happen. Do you like Star Wars movies? Yes, I've seen all of the Star Wars movies. I love Star Wars movies. My favorite character was Yoda. What about you? I like Darth Vader. Yeah, that character was pretty cool. If you had to describe that character, what would you say about them? They were very beautiful. Yeah, I know what you mean. Asking for a description of a person, too. Can you describe her for me? She was large, hairy, and scary. What are you talking about? When she laughed, it sent chills up my spine. Have you ever met someone like that? Yes, one time I met someone like that. She had eyes like laser beams. Sometimes I wonder if aliens from UFOs live here with us. Do you think that's possible? Sure, I think it could happen. I guess it's impossible to say for sure unless you go for a ride in one. Do you think that would be an interesting experience? No, I never want to be near a UFO. Well, you will probably never see one. Have you seen any Star Wars movies? No, I haven't seen any Star Wars movies. Star Wars was the best. I really liked Darth Vader. 
Do you have a favorite character? I like Lou Skywalker. Oh yeah, I forgot about that character. What words do you think would best describe that character? He looked like a black vacuum cleaner. I totally agree. Asking for a description of a person. Three. How does she look? I'm not sure how tall she was, but she was very scary. Is this a joke? Oh my God! You should have seen her. She looked like she had just crawled out from underneath something. Do you get what I'm saying? No, I have no idea what you are talking about. Oh man, her eyes were the most incredible, glowing green. She might be a Martian or something. Do you think that is possible? Yes, I believe in UFOs. I've never seen a UFO, but I would like to. How about you? Yes, I think that seeing a UFO would be fascinating. Personally, I've never seen one. I think it would be fun to see the universe, like in a Star Wars movie. Have you ever seen the Star Wars movies? I saw some of them. I love the special effects and the story. I like Princess Leia. Who did you like the best? I like Yoda. Yes, that is a good choice. How would you describe the character if you had to tell someone what they looked like? He was hot. That's a really good description. Likes and dislikes. One. Whoa! Look at all those ice cream choices. Yes, this is a lot of choices. What is your favorite? I love. Anything with chocolate, the best. I like chocolate myself. Is there any kind of ice cream you don't like? I really don't like any ice cream with nuts in it. I haven't ever cared for that myself. Have you ever had garlic ice cream? That sounds absolutely disgusting. It was. Let's stick with the regular choices today, though. Likes and dislikes too. There are so many flavors of ice cream to choose from. Yes, there must be about a hundred. Do you have a favorite? I love fruit flavored ice is the best. I know fresh fruit flavored is the best ever. What is your least favorite ice cream? I don't like peppermint ice cream. Yeah, I know what you mean. One time, I tried garlic ice cream. That could be interesting. That doesn't sound like a good choice for today, though. Let's order. Likes and dislikes three. I have never seen so many flavors of ice cream in one place. There certainly are a lot. Can you choose a favorite? Vanilla with toppings is my favorite. Is there anything as good as a hot fudge sundae? No way. Do you have a flavor you don't like? I don't like ice cream with too many different flavors in it. I agree with that. It just doesn't work for me. I saw garlic ice cream on the menu once. I think that would be horrible. I think I'll stick with a more traditional choice today. Certainty and uncertainty. One. I was thinking about applying for the new position. Do you think that is a good idea? It seems like a good idea, but I'm not really sure. What are your main concerns? Well, it would give me a chance to grow, but I'm wondering if I would like the job. I know what you mean. I've thought about that myself. I also am thinking about the pay. Could you take a slight pay decrease for a chance to move forward? Yes, it might be worth it, but I'm not certain. I think I'm convinced that trying for this position is the best choice for you. Certainty and uncertainty, too. I am not certain, but I think I might ask to be considered for the new job. Why are you considering trying for it? I think that I might like it. But I'm still thinking about it. What is it about this job that appeals to you? I think that I would enjoy the position, but there isn't a lot of creativity involved. Yes, you could be right. There is a lot to consider. 
I am also wondering about the pay. Would a slight decrease in pay be worth it for a new opportunity for growth? I am thinking that might be the case. I think you should give it a shot. What do you have to lose? You can always change your mind. Certainty and uncertainty. Three. I am considering going for the new job that was posted yesterday. Are you certain that that is what you want to do? It may not be the best choice for me. But I am considering it. Why do you think this would be a good move? I believe that this job would allow me to move up, but might be a little boring for me. Yes, there are always pros and cons to making a career change. Also, the matter of pay is also a consideration. I think the slight pay decrease might be worth it. The benefits are much better. Yes, sometimes giving up a little to move forward is the best choice. I think you should definitely apply for the position. Asking for permission one. I was wondering if I could borrow the company van for a fundraiser this weekend. Sure, I think that would be possible. Where is the fundraiser? It is in the park downtown. Would you need it for both Saturday and Sunday? We will need it for Saturday only. I think that would be okay. Who will be driving it? Mary and I will be driving the van. Could you drop it off on Sunday night? Yes, we can do that. Can we borrow the chairs from the lunch room also? Yes, that'd be fine. Just make sure that everything is returned by Sunday night. Asking for permission too. Our unit is participating in a fundraiser this weekend and would like to borrow the van, if possible. I would need to check on that. Where is the fundraiser? It will be at the beach by the pier. What day will you need it for? We will be needing it for Sunday. Maybe that could work. I need to know who will be driving it. The only two drivers will be Mary and I. If I give you the keys to the garage, could you bring it back on Sunday evening? Sure. We'll also would like to use the chairs from the lunchroom. Would that be okay? Okay, but make sure that everything is back by Sunday night at the latest. Asking for permission three. Could we borrow the company van for a fundraiser this weekend? That would be a possibility. Where is this fundraiser taking place? It's in the hotel ballroom down the street. Do you need it for the whole weekend? We will need it for both days. We will need to know who will be driving the van. The van will be driven by Mary and me. It needs to be back on Sunday night. Can you arrange for that? Oh yeah, no problem. Would you mind if we borrowed a few of the chairs from the lunchroom? Just keep track of everything and get it all back where you took it from by Sunday evening.